Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today is in this video we are going to see how to do a molecular dynamic calculus in Metal Studio using Foresight module. So generally, if you want to do a QAIMD that is quantum based, uh, a quantum ab initio based molecular dynamic simulations uh, for a smaller system it is okay, but for a bigger system, bigger system in the sense, suppose you are having uh, big lattice and a huge system that you cannot use QMD. In those cases, we prefer to do just MD using a classical theory or Newtonian's mechanism. So just assume we are having a, this lattice here, okay, and you want to perform uh, MD simulation. So we'll go to this foresight module and in calculations. So generally when we choose this foresight module for this MD is suppose you want to study some, you know, uh, bigger system. Suppose we have the bigger surface, bigger surface in the sense we having the 20 atomic thickness of your system as a slab and then you are having a solvent like thousands of water molecule or HCl or uh, any kind of you know chemical environment that you are taking so you are having a bigger lattice in those cases if you are working with uh, quantum dynamics it will take years to you know optimize your structure those cases what we do is we just use uh, Newtonian's uh, classical theory based MD simulation method okay and here you can perform geometry optimization dynamics whatever you want you can perform Suppose you are interested for dynamics, so <clears throat> you can do dynamics here. You can take the quality, whatever you quality you want. Ultra fine is the best. And in the more, you can select the ensembles. Generally, we take N V T. Okay, so these are ensembles based on your literature. You can select whatever ensemble you want to work with, and then the temperature that you want to work and the calculate. Suppose you want to work with the room temperature, this is the room temperature and if you want you can change, okay. And this is the total simulation time, okay. So if you want to see the details, what is this total simulation time? <clears throat> so the total simulation time, is just specify the total time in the uh, this picoseconds and that dynamic simulation will run. Actually it is very costly, right. Even if you run for a 5 femtosecond or a 10 uh, 5 picosecond or 10 picosecond it will take uh, you know huge time so <clears throat> depending on your accuracy if you increase this time scale for more system you will get a better results so it depends on your accuracy that you want and your the system you are having okay so and the number of steps these are like 5000 steps 2000 steps this determines the total simulation time okay now we'll come here. So total number of steps you can select. So these are the default value that is already uh, selected here and that is decent. Okay. Five picosecond is okay and the time steps for uh, in femtosecond is also fine. You can, you know, we can go ahead with this. In thermostat, don't need to change anything in advance. Keep it default. In energy, you can select the force field method that you want to use. So generally in the literature, uh, whatever like force field they are using, you can choose or you can choose compass 2, compass 3, these are the better, you know, so these, uh, these are just your force field. So compass 2, compass 3, they are like people use them. So whatever you wish, you can choose, okay. If uh, your system is parameterized for this force field, you can use this, fine. And other things you can keep uh, default. No need to change anything. This is default, and then this more also. You need, no need to change anything. Now go to the job control. Put the number of parallel processor there that you want to use. More tick everything, and run. That's all. So right now we are doing a dynamics. So it will perform a molecular dynamic simulation on this structure. Okay. So this is the way to do a molecular dynamic simulation in foresight module. That's all. Okay. And instead of dynamics, you can so geometry optimization, you can do energy calculation and whatever you want, you can just do the calculation for that. So foresight is used for a molecular dynamic simulation based on Newtonian's classical theory. 
okay that is the difference between your cast up module or demo 3 that is based on the dft abinisu method okay so that's all about this four set module and mv simulation if you have any doubt pertaining to this video put in the comment section thank you for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you